It is Santa Clarita's hometown station, KHTS. Hey, make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. And speaking of the greatest Santa Clarita has to offer, we have a very special guest in studio. He's William Bosley, and he's a registered nurse with Henry Mayo. But specifically, we're talking about the Henry Mayo Fitness and Health uh, center over there on Town Center Drive. Um, you can go to, actually, I'm going to let you say that because I actually don't have that information. Where's the website there, Will? HenryMayo.com. HenryMayo.com. Oh, that's easy. I, I probably knew that, actually. Um, but you can learn more by going to HenryMayo.com or just keep listening because we're going to talk about it right now. Will, how are you, my friend? I'm doing very well. Thank you for yeah, having me here today. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And you are, again, a registered nurse, um, and you are at the uh, Henry Mayo Fitness and Health uh, center but they're celebrating one year there that and is so, correct that's one pretty year. exciting stuff right yes one year actually next month so okay so it's it flew by there it seems yes it did yeah and uh been very successful so far and we're happy with uh where it's going so. yeah so what I, I wanted to ask you uh you, you said you you were you're a registered nurse but how did you get involved with the henry mayo fitness and, and health center well so um prior to uh becoming a henry mayo uh the program coordinator for the Health and Fitness Center, what I was doing was working in cardiology as a, uh, I was a cardiac catheterization nurse where we would uh, treat people uh, needing stents, uh, needing pacemakers, um, internal defibrillators, and things like that. And I was also involved in uh, emergency nursing for a number of years as well. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, and, and health and fitness were right in your alley then? Yeah, so more of the community education component okay. of the Health and Fitness Center. Um, um, the Health and Fitness Center, we have a full service gymnasium. Um, we have athletic trainers. And the cool thing about uh, um, all of our athletic trainers is they're all um, have their bachelor's degree in either kinesiology or athletic training. They will not hire an athletic trainer without a bachelor's degree, which kind of sets our gym apart. It's pretty cool. Nice. Um, we also have an on-site outpatient physical therapy department. Oh, great. And, uh, and then we also, uh, where I come in is we have the uh, community education department. And um, I have two dietitians that work with us, and we have an administrative coordinator. That's She's our secretary, and her name is Griselda, and she is... Uh, always uh, available to answer any questions too shout out to griselda right there nice nice yeah. it's, it, it, hopefully she's listening oh so, yeah yeah <laughs> i i think she, she is. better be she's, is what I meant uh, to say. she's pretty awesome yeah okay yeah. so um uh, okay so let's talk about that a little bit you guys so you guys have opened you opened here but you guys offer uh, quite a few different uh classes and programs and stuff let's talk yes. about the, some of the so, some of that stuff yeah, we, um, so we have, uh, so myself, I'm a registered nurse, um, the program coordinator for the um, community education. And we also have two dietitians on staff and um, an administrative coordinator. And we also have um, our marketing department uh, supports us greatly as well. Um, the classes that we offer, we offer classes from um, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, uh, heart failure classes. Uh, we offer classes on heart disease. Um, Diabetic neuropathy, which is a complication of diabetes. Okay. We also uh, offer classes on cancer nutrition, endurance nutrition for sports. Uh, oh, really? Yes. So okay. We, so yeah. if there's athletes out there that, that yes. want to up their game, so to speak. Yeah. So um, one of our dietitians, her name is Kim, uh, Kim Brown, and I'm sure she's listening as well. But uh, she just put together this tremendous class. Um, it's called endurance for uh, nutrition for endurance class, and it's pretty popular so far and it's going to really help out so these classes aren't just for people who are you know th that's one thing i thought uh, at first was these are just for people that are struggling with their health but if there's healthy individuals that want to you know uh, up their game th there's plenty of those as well yeah that's correct and these classes are just not for hospital patients or not for gym yeah. members it's for the whole community so anybody and everybody and it could even be a family member of somebody who has heart disease or a family member of somebody who has diabetes and they can come to this and uh, and get educated, learn all they can about these specific disease processes, and um, and the good thing is they're all free. Oh, uh, that's a, oh, yeah. that's that we buried the lead yeah, there a little bit. They're all free. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a service that Henry Mayo does for the community. Um, they are it's amazing what what you know what they're offering for the community. It's all free of charge. Awesome. We're, yeah. Again, we're speaking with William Bosley. He's a registered nurse and program coordinator. Did I get the title mm -hmm. right? Program coordinator over there at the Henry Mayo Fitness and Health Center. Uh, you guys are located right on Town Center Drive. Yeah, so our address is 24525 Town Center Drive. 
uh, just right there in the, in the in the town center complex by the Hyatt, by the mall. Yeah, right there. Right in there. Okay, cool. Uh, one thing, uh, you guys, so we, you talked about a lot of the, the programs we offer, but even you guys have, like, snake bite yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. It's not just, it's not just, like. Healthy heart and internal Correct. organ stuff. There's if you're going hiking, this is there's some classes there too. Yeah, so we're trying to offer all kinds of um, all kinds of class offerings, not just for um, you know health related stuff, but for other things that might be of interest to the community. I know it's a big hiking community, so in September, it's actually on uh, September 8th, it's our first uh, seminar. It's on hiking and snake bite prevention and treatment. And we have um, the Placerita Canyon Natural Area, Frank Hoffman. Okay. Uh, he's involved. He's, uh, he's actually bringing a live rattlesnake to oh, class. Oh, man. Uh, it'll be safe. It's going to be in a, <laughs> in a cage. He's that, not going to release it in the no, class. No, we're it's not, <laughs> not, not going to have a petting zoo or okay. anything like that. But, um, and we also have one of our ER docs, uh, Dr. Lawrence. Is, uh, he's one of our ER uh, doctors at Henry Mayo. He's cool. going to be presenting on ER treatment if somebody shows up to the ER with a, a rattlesnake bite which, you know, rattlesnakes are the only venomous snakes in Southern California. Yeah. So if they, um, if they show up to the ER, uh, what to expect? And oh, he's yeah, going to go over all of the treatment. And I'm going to be talking about um, treatment in the field before you get to the ER. Um, all, okay, that's, that was my next question. Yeah, cool. there's, there's a lot of myths and there's a lot of facts. So um, we're going to go over all that. And okay. we're also going to have one, uh, a, a lady from the hospital. Her name is Jennifer Cox. She's going to be doing a hiking component to the class, talking about uh, the do's and don'ts with hiking, where to go, just how to be safe and things like that. And uh, so believe it or not, um, the class already has 40, almost 45 people already oh, wow. signed up. And we even offered it out to uh, to the Boy Scouts in the area. Nice. And we got a couple Boy Scout troops come in. And um, so it should be fun. We're going to offer this class at least twice a year as a seminar. Um, if it becomes more popular and people want to come, it may be more often than that. Awesome. Yeah. Again, go to henrymayo.com to learn more or keep listening. You have some big news, though, with regards to um, uh, diabetes management and prevention. Yes, we do. So uh, we partnered with the uh, CDC, which is the Centers for Disease Control. It's a national program. Um, CDC um, has put together, we're trying to uh, prevent type 2 diabetes in people. Um, so believe it or not, there are 84 million people in the country that are pre-diabetic. Man. It's just, uh, it's almost um, an epidemic. Um, one in three Americans are pre-diabetic. In the state of California, 55% of California residents are either diabetic or pre-diabetic. Wow. And the scary thing is 90% uh, of the people with pre-diabetes don't even know they have it. Oh, really? Yeah, correct. Holy so, cow. Yeah, so 90% don't even know they have prediabetes because um, you don't feel prediabetes. Yeah. You don't feel it. It's like high blood pressure. You don't feel it. Okay. Um, so uh, we are going to be offering, it's called a diabetes prevention program. Um, it's a one-year program, and the cost is very nominal that we're going to be, um, the national average cost is like $200 to attend this one-year program. We're only going to offer $75. It's oh, just, awesome. Uh, just because it, it is a lengthy and an in-depth program, and it, it, it kind of requires a commitment from the participant, and um, they need to be a pre-diabetic. 50% um, of the participants, if... Let's say there's 20 participants in our in our program. At least 10 of those have to be pre-diabetics. Okay. They could also have a history of gestational diabetes. Um, that's a woman who had pregnant or uh, a woman who was pregnant in the past that had diabetes. Okay. Um, and then the other half can be um, non-diabetics or diabetics because w what we do is we collect data and we submit it to the um, Center for Disease Control. And um, our goal is to promote healthy lifestyle, uh, weight loss. Um, healthy diet, and uh, so forth. So we have to hit some benchmarks along the way, and it's going gonna, gonna to change uh, a lot of people's lives, really, that are heading toward the diabetes direction. It's going to postpone that. That's fantastic. And yeah. uh, uh, William Bosley, he is the program director over at the Henry Mayo Fitness and Health Center, trying to create a healthy community here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, traffic is next. There are fun kids events at the Church on the Way Santa Clarita. Two to five year olds.